So you said no questions, right? Mm. Do you have a thousand dollars that I can have? Of course. Okay. Oh, well. Those were all. Those were my questions. Uh, I'm good. Can you just send me your PayPal and now? Oh, I do have a PayPal. I was gonna say I don't have one. I do have one. I just don't remember my password. Do you have a Venmo? Mm, no, but do you have Bank of America? No. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, <laughs> just send it to me. Pigeon. Just send a pigeon. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I got you, I got you. I like how okay. this is all gonna be in the recording. <laughs> it is out of context. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm, you know what? I'm gonna include this. Hello, guys! Welcome back to the Kingcast Gaming Channel. I'm your host, King, and welcome <laughs> to the podcast. <laughs> Wait, have we started? Is yep. it? Did we start? Yep. Oh. We're, we're in this. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> it's on. <laughs> okay, nice. Hi, welcome to the podcast. This is episode two. <laughs> um, so if you don't know who this is, I'm gonna assume that no one does. Uh, it's my girlfriend, Jessica. Welcome to the channel. Oh yes, I am not my own person. I am only only known as your girlfriend. <laughs> so no, you're you're, <laughs> you're 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 a good person. Thank you. Yes, I am Jessica. I prefer Jesse. Oh. You can go with whatever you want. All I know whatever is whatever floats your boat. According to you, you're the owner of the channel. I am. I take all royalties from the channel. Yep. Little do you guys know that the PayPal is actually hers. So if you guys donated ever to the channel, which I appreciate, it goes straight to her bank account. You're paying for my food, for my gas, for basically everything. Yeah, yeah. So go go show show some support. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go uh, donate every stream at least a hundred a hundred dollars. <laughs> at least. At least. Anything, anything less than mm. no, not acceptable. No, she also takes my paychecks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much for coming in uh i forgot to check all right so we're about four minutes into recording all right cool just keep reference to how much uh this is gonna go on because i know you're gonna be busy pretty much later on and i don't want to take too much of your time first of all today we're going to talk about tv shows and movies very exciting stuff and mm -hmm. guys if you guys want your questions answered we have a Discord server now. By the way, this is like the first video I've uploaded since we hit 100 subscribers. Actually, this is going to go up on Saturday. I have an episode going up today. But thank you guys for the 100 subscribers. I appreciate it. Link, link to the Discord is going to be down in the description. And then you guys can ask your questions. I'll post topics of what we're going to speak, who the guest is going to be. And then you guys send in your questions and hopefully they'll be answered. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully we don't, we don't skip over them because we're like, I don't know. I have the questions pulled up right here, so I'll make sure okay. that we don't skip the ones here. And then I do have other questions uh, for okay. you that we could talk about. So this this one's one I've been thinking about for so long, and I think I finally have an answer, which is why I want to start off with this one. So Aiden asks, for people who don't have a show to watch, what show would you recommend that you liked? And I know your questions right away. I know what this is going to be. <laughs> okay, why don't you answer for me then? No, because I want you to answer. Okay, but, okay. Okay, okay. So, bef sorry. Before you answer, though, I want, I kind of want to just put this in two categories. One that you've, like, seen on TV, like, actually play on TV, and one that you've seen, like, on Netflix. Because growing up, I, I'm pretty sure you had, like, a favorite TV show that you would always recommend to someone. Okay. And now, you know, you, people have Netflix, so you could recommend those on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. I know. Um... Uh, one that I saw on TV, it's this, it, well, it was not a, like a, it's a cartoon. Okay. Uh, I think it's Disney Channel. I don't remember. But uh, it's called Gravity Falls. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Disney XD. Yeah, I think so. I don't, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But I would watch it all the time. And whenever there was a new episode, I would like run to the TV and go watch it. I just really like their humor. It's like very sarcastic. Yeah, yeah. And like very self-aware and i really like that about shows that it's a serious show but it doesn't take itself too seriously yeah i love shows that are like self-aware make the break the the third or the fourth wall uh, and all that stuff yeah. so i i i'm a big fan of those type of things 
I haven't seen Gravity Falls like all the way through. I've seen a couple episodes here and there, but it's definitely a good show in my opinion. A good cartoon series, and it's like you no know, for people all different ages. Yeah, definitely because I saw it when I, I don't remember what year it came out, but I saw it was a while ago, and then I I started watching it again a couple weeks back. I'm like, it's still funny to me, and I still enjoy it. Mm -hmm. All right, so for me, one show that I would recommend every time whenever I was a kid, Phineas and Ferb. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one too. Phineas and Ferb is so good. Like even to this day, I see memes about Doofenshmirtz and. And Perry the platypus, you know, Phineas and Ferb. It's because it's so relevant. Actually, the, the other platypus, Perry, Perry the, the platypus. platypus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah, and even to this day, I think like last week at the time of this video being uploaded, like a week or two ago, they came out with a new movie for Candace. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I, they I, did. I haven't seen it yet, and I want it's something I want to see pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Phineas and Ferb. The song's catchy. The characters are so intriguing. <laughs> Ferb doesn't speak like 99% of the time. And <laughs> he's just so entertaining. The side characters are, are are like relevant, you know? Yeah, everything like the even the humor is even though it's a kid show, mm -hmm. it's still funny. Like there's some kid shows where you watch and you're like, okay, this is this is really boring. But Phineas and Ferb is just like I can watch hours of it and it's really good yeah 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 like the format of the show is so simple they wake up they figure out what to do and then candace is trying to spoil them and spoil their 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 adventures and you know try to get them caught and at the end yeah. of the episode they never get caught they never get caught and it like repeats every single episode <laughs> and you're still intrigued and what i love about it every single episode it has a new song Really? Yeah, <laughs> every every that. episode has a different song. Oh my gosh. So I did not know that. So imagine how much time and dedication the writers have to put in it. Not only do they have to, you know, have a plot for the whole episode, now they have to make a new song that goes with the plot and drives the plot forward. Yeah. And not to speak about it's Perry the Platypus. But... Oh no, don't even talk about one of the greatest characters of all time. Not the best in my opinion, but Oh, we'll, he doesn't. We'll get to it's not that. even human. He doesn't talk. He's just a, a platypus. But he has so much personality. It's amazing, dude. Yeah, for sure. I remember as a kid when Phineas and Ferb came out. I'd always do the the little parry thing. The you know. <laughs> I cannot do that. <laughs> it's not like you're just growling. <laughs> I, I tried and I failed. That out. That out. <laughs> get back in. Never mind. <laughs> okay. So next question I had here. Because not only do you, you know, like a lot of TV shows, you like a lot of movies, but you're, you're, you like a lot of books. I do, yes. Yes. So, which book would you like to see adapted into a movie? Oh, okay. Here's the thing. The series that got me into, like, reading, like, a lot of reading mm -hmm. was Percy Jackson and the Olympian. Okay. And there are movies made of that. But the movies are the the worst <laughs> thing I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> There's this meme I once saw and I said, I may be a disappointment, but at least I'm not the Percy Jackson movies. And I'm like, <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Nothing can be as bad as those movies. And I know some people like them. Yeah. But they're so far from the book. Everyone's super old. Like they're supposed to be 12 and they all look like they're in their 20s. There's just so many details wrong with it that don't stay true to the story. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no. Gross. Gross. No, burn them. Just burn them all. <laughs> but that's a that's a, a book series that I always wanted is, like, good movies. And now they're making a TV show out of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited about that. There's Hopefully they potential. get it right this time. There's a lot of potential in the, in the TV series. Yeah, there is. There definitely is. Yeah, I'm excited about that. It's it's already turning into a TV series, but that's like the book series that I want to see on my screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are, what is 
one movie series that was adapted from a book into a movie that you personally like? Um, the Hunger Games. I probably saw the first movie like twenty times. <laughs> I would I bought the DVD? Mm-hmm. I would watch it, and then right as soon as the movie ended, I would restart it, and I would watch it like three times a day. Yeah, no joke. Not exaggerating at Not all. Exaggerating. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So the Hunger Games definitely shaped my my teenage years and i think it's it's still like i could still watch him and not be bored yeah i i remember uh, i was in middle school and and i forgot what we were doing in my english class but the teacher needed volunteers and i remember doing the little thing it was like i volunteer as tribute oh yeah Um, and then someone in the class whistled and did the little thing (laughs) the the three finger salute yeah and I'm just like, yes, I feel important. <laughs> I feel validated. I, yes. The sacrifice had to be made. Yes, exactly. All right. So for me, one of you know, one of my favorite books reading is probably The Giver. Because when I started getting into reading, it was because of that book. And I have dropped bulk reading recently. <laughs> But I definitely want to get back into, you know, reading books and stuff like that. Because we have, like, Ready Player One. As I could see it right here. And stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But The Giver, whenever I I was reading that in middle school, in my ELD class that I did not read at all. Um, <laughs> you know, the characters in the movies was pretty much spot on to how I thought they were going to be in, in my imagination. You know? Mm-hmm. And all those scenes, I feel like they were very accurate. Sorry, I hit my mic. Oh, you're good. You're good. Uh, you know, obviously, they have to add some stuff for, like, dramatic effect and all that. But the concept was there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like about when they get the movie right. Like, in the, Hung- the Hunger Games as well. I, I saw a book come to life. Mm-hmm, yeah. As opposed to Percy Jackson, where I saw the movie absolutely pick the book series to the floor and then spit on it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's the best way I can describe it. Yeah, yeah. But it's definitely, yeah. you know, it's always a good thing when you've read the book. Because I feel like it's better to read the book than to see the movie, the adaptation of it. Hmm. Because you get more context from the book. Yeah, because then you see the movie and you're like, but why did he do this? But why he, did he do that? And mm-hmm. it's because you're not watching their like inner monologue of like looking at all of their thoughts. Yeah. That's why some of their actions are confusing when you just watch the movie. But if you read the books, you're like, okay, I know why this character did this because in the books they thought this way or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get a little bit more character development. You get you get to know the characters a little bit more. Mm-hmm, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so here's another very important question from the Discord server. And this goes to King Cygnus here. Who's the greatest TV show character of all time, in your opinion, and why? Do you want to go first? Do you have an answer? <laughs> uh, okay, I have like two categories in this answer because I feel like they can't be a true one character. And I know this is opinion based. And if you guys want, leave your leave. Your, uh, leave a comment down below answering this question. Who's your favorite TV show character and why? So, in in terms of <laughs> making memes, <laughs> I'd say it's SpongeBob. I knew you were going there. As soon as you said meme, I'm like, oh. He's going <laughs> to say SpongeBob because he loves SpongeBob. Oh, the SpongeBob memes are so relevant. There's a SpongeBob meme for every situation. There really is. It's universal. It's a universal language. Kind of mm-hmm. like music. Yeah, SpongeBob. So, yeah, so music. Uh, okay, so universal languages: music, food, SpongeBob. Exactly. Yeah. So SpongeBob, I feel like there's, like I said earlier, there's, there's a meme for everything in SpongeBob. No matter, <laughs> yeah. no matter how you're feeling, no matter what <laughs> what day of the week it is, SpongeBob is the answer, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Always. Okay, but in terms of like all like serious and all that, who I I love as a character throughout their TV show, the character development, and all that. Hmm. I'd probably have to. <laughs> I just thought of another one, just funny. 
<laughs> I, I'd have to say I was like Drake Bell <laughs> from Drake and Josh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, but no, I was I was I'd probably have to say it's Ah oh man, I'm still kind of thinking. <laughs> you want to go first? I'll still have to think because this is hard. Um. Okay. Yeah. I think my answer is going to be Michael Scott from The Office <laughs> because. <laughs> okay. I I really like his humor. I really like, you know, his he did have character development. Yeah. In the show, like he started off as, as this like. I don't care about what my actions do to other people. Like I, I say anything I want and I never feel guilty about it. I never feel like my, I like I have an impact or, or he was just very like egotistical mm -hmm. kind of person. And then towards like when, you know, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, I'm sorry. But uh, when he left the show, you could tell that there was a difference like, to his character, he was a, a lot more mature. Yeah. And he cared about, you know, he always cared about his coworkers, but he only cared that they liked him. He didn't care that about their well being. Yeah, yeah. But at the end, he definitely cared about their well being. And when he left the show, I cried. <laughs> the scene where he hugs, um, you finished it, right? I don't want to spoil it for you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, the scene where he hugged Pam in the mm -hmm. airport as he was leaving, that scene, I'm just like, oh, no, I can't. And I started crying because I was like, I'm going to miss him. And you know, he was, he was, I think, one the best character, in my opinion. I don't want to speak for anyone else. But, yeah, that, I, I really like his character development. And I really like his humor. So. Humor is a big thing for me. Yeah, so Michael Scott, like, definitely in the beginning of the series... He, I would definitely say he, he was looking for attention. Mm -hmm. Like they wanted, you know, he wanted to feel involved in a lot of things. And that kind of made it awkward with some of his coworkers. <laughs> um, yeah. <coughs> Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. But as, as, the, as the series progressed, you know, he, not, not that he stopped being liked by people, but his approach to seeking attention was different towards mm -hmm. in a way became more genuine you know mm -hmm. his his relationship with his coworkers became more of less of a boss uh worker and more of like friends yeah and like you're saying that that goodbye with pam it really does show character development because i remember the first episode uh spoilers again if you guys haven't seen it um it was about uh oh, the little, downsizing yes, yes. I, I couldn't think of the word it was about downsizing and you know he as a joke wanted to tell pam that she got fired <laughs> so looking at how different that is just messing around with someone's like hey, you're fired and then she starts crying towards when he his departure from the series it was like you know such a genuine thing and that was actually genuine you know that that goodbye yeah it was it wasn't like they were actually they were actually crying. It wasn't Pam saying goodbye to Michael. It was Jenna saying goodbye to Steve Carell. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh man, that. And then the song they performed for sad. him. Oh yeah, he, he like didn't know they were doing it. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm already getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I don't want to think about it anymore because it makes me, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a really good show. Yeah, it's a really good show. Okay, so I I think I've had a little bit more time to think about it. So the character, my favorite character of all time, is probably gonna be Doodle Bob. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> although although I do like Mihoi Minoy, 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 Mihoi Minoy. Mm -hmm. Yes, he um, is one of the best. Yes, he's definitely one of the best like reoccurring character. I'd, I'd say reoccurring because he actually did come back for another episode. Um, I don't remember, but okay. Yeah, one of the newer episodes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't seen the newer yeah, ones. Yeah, I know. All I know is that he has come back. Um, the, my favorite character of all time, and this is no joke, is Fred from SpongeBob, also known as the, the My Leg Guy. 
Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, is that the guy that screams my leg almost every episode? <laughs> There's like an explosion or a car crash or whatever it is. What yes. was his leg? Yes, my leg. Dude, that guy is <laughs> hilarious. It's the same joke every time. And yeah, it's yeah, funny yeah. every time. Mm-hmm. They recorded like three variations and for like the first season, <laughs> and they've played that through the like, I don't know how many series now, how many seasons? Uh-huh. Sorry, a lot, many, like, not too many. Like you've seen the like, there's compilation videos of all that, like my legs, and I laugh at every single clip. Yeah, I hope that guy is getting paid like very well. Oh yeah, like the act, the voice actor. Yeah. Yes, he has to get paid so much for that. Like, they even made an episode about him, which is why we know his name is Fred. Mm-hmm. And for that episode, dude, they should have paid him well. Cause that guy is good. <laughs> that guy is good. That guy is good. <laughs> <laughs> He's good at what he does. He knows how to scream words <laughs> yep. in three different variations. That's all you need. <laughs> all right. So, so we need to go back to this question because we split this question in two topics. Okay. So... For those who don't have a show to watch, what show would you recommend? Oh, boy. (laughs) Want to go first? You sure? I'll go first. I actually have two shows I would recommend. If you have a way to see this without any illegal methods, definitely go see Drake and Josh. Please do. Like, this this younger generation needs to discover how funny Drake and Josh were. It was the best. I remember... Yes, I remember as a kid, like, wanting to see every episode as soon as they came out. Drake and Josh, like, the character development from both Drake and Josh and the mom and the dad and Megan. <laughs> Megan. Amazing. Yeah. Always my favorite My favorite line from there is, are you calling me a liar? I ain't calling, I ain't you, calling a you a truther. <laughs> that still gets quoted in yearbooks. Yeah, it's still one of the one of the best lines, and the way that Josh Peck like delivers the line, yes, just makes it funnier. Mm-hmm. And I love how whenever he's like, you know, in you know, trying to exaggerate something, he always repeats that last word twice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm trying to think of like a line that he says, but I don't really remember. My I, my favorite episode though has to be. When they're stuck in Drake's house and they're supposed to have a concert and they have like a party to celebrate and there's like a big storm. And then Is that all- the where they sing that one Queen song? Yes, We Will Rock You. Yeah. Yeah, and so the lights go out and everything and the dad is like a news report, uh, weather anchor and he's out there in the storm and he gets mugged. <laughs> 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 and next thing you know, he appears on TV with like, Without a shirt and all that. They like, stole his jeans, his pants or whatever. And then Crazy Steve is just trying to watch Dora. Hello. Oh, she's back. Sorry about that. I, I was just talking to myself. Don't worry. It's okay. Keep going. I was talking to the viewers. <laughs> yes, you were not talking to yourself. You were talking to the beautiful viewers who... If you are not subscribed, you should subscribe. She said it, not me. So that means you got to do it. Mm-hmm. It's the rule. I'm sorry. Yeah. She she, she makes the rules, not me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> no, but yeah, uh, like towards the beginning, like they hate each other. Like, well, they don't like each other. Not that there's hate, but they just don't like the fact that they're stepbrothers. Then towards the end of the episode, I mean, the, towards the end of the series, my bad, um, they're like the closest brothers ever. Yeah, they're like best friends. They're family. Mm-hmm. And like Drake is like he has his own band and Josh is like their manager and all that. Yeah, definitely good character development on both sides. Mm-hmm. And Drake is just so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's why I love Drake better than Josh. Oh, I was almost I was always more of a Josh person. Comment down below. Were you Team Drake or Team Josh? <laughs> Watch. Everyone's going to be Team Megan. Uh, I don't think anyone is Megan, though. That's true. I don't think anyone can be her. Like People like to pretend like, oh, I was totally Megan. But no, she's too cool. <laughs> she's too cool for all of us. 
Yeah, true. All right, it's your turn now. So what? Oh. What's what TV show would you recommend? Um. Okay, <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to answer this question as well. I think show that I would recommend, and if you like like drama, suspense, mystery type of series, you should check out uh, Bates Motel. Okay. It's it's really 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 good, and there's a there's only five seasons because that's how long the story the writers wanted it to go. They didn't want to go like twenty seasons of this psycho killer. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it's it's so good. The acting is so good. All all of the actors really are. I I believe that they were their characters, and the writing's really good, and the pacing of the story is done really well. And it's just I I can't express how much I enjoyed watching that series. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think we have time for about two or three more questions, depending how long we decide to talk. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite movie? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want me to go first on this? Yes, I'll give you please. time to think because I gave, I did yeah. tell you I had some questions I did not want you to know in advance. Yeah, yeah. This is one of them. I don't know. <laughs> okay, right. you go first. I'll give you time to think. All right. So my, my favorite movie... Let me just explain to you guys. I'm so big into like movies that do time travel and stuff like that. And I feel because of all of that and the stakes that were involved in this movie, um, Avengers Endgame is my, by far my favorite movie. Uh, there yeah. was just so much, you know, time invested in that whole series, so much character development throughout the the whole MCU and everything culminated in that one film. Yeah, it really did. The stakes were, like I said, the stakes were super high (laughs) and there was time travel. There was jokes. We got to see a bunch of, you know, Easter eggs. We got to see, you know, a lot of things happen. I mean, Loki is the life technically. I don't know what's going on with that. (laughs) Yeah. Who knows? Um, He's died like four times, so. <laughs> yeah, at this point, the world may never know. Yeah. But definitely, my my favorite movie has to be Endgame because of that. Like it wraps up the story so well. When, ah, uh, okay, spoilers, spoilers. If you guys haven't seen this movie by by now, like, what what are you doing? That's <laughs> that that scene. You're living under a rock. Yeah. Watch it. I mean, yeah. I mean that's I'm gonna tell you how you know that's on you. Yeah, you can watch it however you want, but you should go see it. Mm-hmm. That's that scene when Captain America lifts Thor's hammer. Oh man, that's such a I get chills. Yes, I got chills. I saw this edit of someone where they they uh, they had Odin's voice casting the spell on uh, on the hammer so that only those who could lift it is worthy enough of the power of Thor. Mm-hmm. as Captain America was lifting it. So, like, it was so cool. I don't know. I'll, I don't think I... If you guys check it out, because that, that, that video is so cool. And just when <laughs> when Captain America was in the elevator and he was like, Hail Hydra. And I was like, oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> the, comic, the comic book nerd in me was like, oh my gosh, just like the comics were in captain america was evil and it was like a different captain america and evil hydra hail yes you just started like geeking now and you're yes. like yes this is what i want this is why i paid mm-hmm. i saw the movie twice in one week yeah me too because <laughs> yeah, i we... went to go see it with my brother and then i went to go see it with you mm-hmm. like the very next day yeah basically <laughs> like i didn't care i'm like i i cried again i got chills again mm-hmm. everything yeah, that that movie was was great. It was so good. It was such a good movie. And you stole you well, you didn't steal my answer. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, so you went serious. I'll go with the joke movie. Okay. My favorite 
movie, comedy movie, is Dumb and Dumber. Okay. I don't know if you've ever seen yes, it. Yes, I've, se- I've, I've seen Dumb and Dumber. There's, I mean, how, how, that, that movie is so great. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The, the comedy in it is like peak mm-hmm. um, Jim Carrey career. Yes. It's one of his best movies, and it's... I I can quote so many things from that movie. It's a little it's a little embarrassing. I don't do it in front of everybody, but I do it in front of people that I am comfortable with. Um, but man, it's such a funny movie. I guess I have like a running theme with like sarcasm <laughs> or something because yeah. it's it's got some sarcastic jokes in there, but just the it's also very self aware, which is something that I like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's very self-aware that they're just the dumbest of the dumb. It's in the title, so. Yeah, yeah. But it's just... It's one... It's a movie that I can watch over and over again. And now, like I said, I still laugh. I still enjoy it. And it's a... It's it's one of my... It's my favorite comedy movie. Okay. All right. So I have one last question here for you. Mm Mm-hmm. If you could recast a character from any TV show or movie, which character would it be and who would you recast it with? Okay. Uh, you should go first again because I am very kind. <laughs> yes, you are, you are very no, kind. You are too kind. Uh, yeah, no, not for any other reason. Like, I don't have an answer. Yeah, no, no, no definitely not. No, no, of course not. I am completely ready to answer this question. I just want to hear your answer first. Oh, I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so who would I recast? Okay, so I'd probably go back to my childhood and recast the voice actors of Tom and Jerry. Just no. kidding. Tom and Jerry is like. No, great Tom TV and Jerry show. is, okay, is sure perfect. Is, yes. Don't you dare. No, Don't I'm you not. dare. I'm not. I promise I won't. Tom and Jerry is so great. Like, it is. Seriously. Like, I've seen the new episodes of Tom and Jerry, and yeah, they're so funny, but go back okay. and ch- go go back and check the old ones, like the original Tom and Jerry. Man, it's just my childhood. Yeah. That, that is my childhood, is Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry, Scooby Doo, um, what else? Pokemon for me, Yu Gi Oh. I used to watch Cat Dog. Cat Dog, like yeah. Cow and Chicken. Mm-hmm. I seen that oh, in Spanish. Powerpuff Girls. I did see the Powerpuff Girls. Yes. I saw a lot of them in Spanish as well. Mm-hmm. Who would I um, recast? This is this is a hard question. If anything, I'd go back to, uh, the Fantastic Four and and recast Mr. Fantastic with John Krasinski. Mm, yes, definitely. And then his wife, Emily Blunt. Mm-hmm. Her... Elastic Girl. <laughs> That's the, the Incredibles. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> there, there's a crossover. Did you not know that? <laughs> it's a crossover. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. You didn't know They're that? Like, wow. No, I didn't know. Yeah, it's it's, 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 called <laughs> the, they... it's, it's called the Incredible Fantastic Four. <laughs> I didn't know they crossed over Incredibles and Fantastic Four. What's it? What's oh. her name? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I don't even remember the name of because I don't. I really, really don't like any of the Fantastic Four movies that come that came out. Mm-hmm. I just sort of block that out from my memory. Oh, you know, oh. you know who I'd actually recast the Human Torch, and I and I'd put um, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, no, not Chris Hensworth. Uh. What's his name? What's his oh, name? Describe him. Maybe I know. Oh, you, you for sure know. Uh, the guy who plays Captain America. <laughs> Chris Evans? Yes, I'd recast him with Chris Evans. But no. How dare you forget Chris Evans? I'm sorry. I had a brain fart. Um, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd recast the actor of the Human Torch with Chris Evans. But not any Chris Evans. Current day Chris Evans. Yeah, because he was already the original Human Torch. Yes. But I feel like he's developed into a more, much more uh, serious actor with funny jokes. Still keep yeah, he's serious. he's a lot better than he was when he did the original. Yeah, I mean that's that's to be expected from people. You know, if you do it, do one thing for so long, you you expect to be better 
over time, right? Mm, not always true, but yeah, that's usually the thing that, that happens. That's the expectation. Yeah, that's the expectation. All right, have you had time to think? <clears throat> I'm clearing my throat. Oh, and buy myself some time. <laughs> okay. Well, I see. Um, I don't think. What would I recast? I'm going through like all the movies and all the TV shows that mm -hmm. I've seen. Yeah. I don't. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know. This is a hard one for sure. I've, I've, been, yeah. This is a, this is a really hard question. I don't know. I feel like most of the shows that I've seen, I really like, like how each actor plays their character. Mm -hmm. I've never been like, oh, I wish someone else would have done this role. Yeah. I just that's not something I really think about when I'm watching a movie. Mm -hmm. So how about this? If, which which character's role have you liked the least? Like which like in character... any any given movie or stuff like that? Like which one's your like least favorite character of all time? Because they were like bad at acting, or because they were just an evil character that I'm like, oh, I hate them. Because the character didn't really fit the role. Not that they're bad at acting; it's just it didn't fit them. They didn't fit the role. Oh man, <laughs> still, I'm still thinking about it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely hard because I don't even have yeah. an answer for this. No, I don't. I, I think I, I think someone who doesn't fit the role as a podcast host is Brian. That that Brian guy is really not not good. Oh yeah, I think we should all recast him because. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just I don't feel like he has a lot of good chemistry with his guests. Yeah, yeah. He definitely. Is mean. Mm. Yeah, I've heard mean um, stuff about him. Yeah, he's super mean, and that's as much as I can insult you. <laughs> I feel <laughs> bad saying anything else. <laughs> well, I he's appreciate just it. mean. He's just he's mean. very he's just very mean. Um, <laughs> no, I want to I want to have a real answer. But I can't <laughs> think of anything. <laughs> I'll just I'll just throw in. Um, Yes. No, I don't know. I don't have anything. I'm All right. completely blanking. Oh, yeah. wait, wait. Okay, I know. I know. I know. The character that I wish would have been cast differently is Will Ferrell in The Office. Mm. Yeah. Didn't fit the humor. I, every time he was in a scene, I'm like, oh, man. Oh, yeah. I skip, why can I skip this scene? Not because I don't like him. I feel like he's a good actor and he definitely has like movies that I enjoy. Yeah. When he was in the office, I'm like, oh, can we, can we not? <laughs> yeah. I think that's, that's my real answer is, is that character. Okay. All right. So that's about all the time we got because I, I think I have other stuff to do. <laughs> like, <laughs> i think i have some other stuff i need to get done i'm not sure <laughs> well i i know for sure i have to but i need a schedule you know I need to ask the people hey are you ready oh okay yeah so okay. I, so with that being said guys thank you guys all for tuning in thank you jessica for being here appreciate it you're welcome uh next week we're gonna have campfire chris on the channel so that's gonna be very exciting yes Definitely. Never never met him, but exciting. <laughs> uh I know that's gonna be an exciting exciting one. I already have some questions for, to ask him and they're they're pretty good. Uh that being said guys, thank you guys all for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week for the podcast. Peace. Hang out. Alright, we're good. <laughs>